Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to take an Edge Router X SFP and show you a couple of ways to add ETH5, the SFP port, to switch zero. So about a week or so ago, I got a comment from one of my viewers that actually triggered the idea for the making of today's video. YouTuber Mac XPS writes, Hi Tony, I just got today my brand new Edge Router X SFP connected to TP-Link switch via SFP, but I got always ETH5 down. Any suggestions? First off, thanks for sending in this comment. It's a great question. One of the first things you have to look for is to make sure that you have the SFP port added to switch zero. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in today's video via the command line and the web user interface. In the case of this viewer, his issues went beyond just adding the port to the switch. We did some troubleshooting together and we finally came down to it being an incompatibility between the Edge Router X SFP and the TP-Link switch. He took the switch out of the mix and added a Netgear switch that he happened to have and the link came up immediately. So anyway, that being said, let's get on to the video. And by the way, Mac XPS, thank you for sending the donation to the channel. It was greatly appreciated. Okay, so I'm signed into my lab Edge Router X SFP and I'm just going to hide the distribution for now. And we're going to locate switch zero and we're going to come over to the actions tab and click on the drop down menu and select config. In the interface configuration for switch zero window, click on the VLAN tab. And you can see here under switch ports, ETH5 is not part of the switch currently. So what we want to do is put a check mark here and then go ahead and hit save. And that's the easiest way to add the SFP port to the switch. So now that the configuration has been applied, if we go back in and we look at the config now and click on the VLAN tab, you can now see that the SFP port ETH5 is now part of switch zero. Now, there's also another way to do this via the command line for those of you who prefer working in the uh, CLI. So let me uncheck ETH5 and save that configuration. So now ETH5 is no longer part of the switch. If we come up to the upper right hand corner and click on the CLI tab, it opens up the command line for the edge router. So we're going to log in and I'm using the default credentials for now. Obviously in production, please change your username and password. To enter the edit mode of the edge router, the first command you have to type is configure. And now to enable ETH5 as part of the switch, you have to type set interfaces switch switch zero switch port interface oops, ETH5 and then hit enter or return, and then commit. And now the edge router is committing this command. And now we're going to refresh. And then make sure we save. Now that the configuration is saved, let's go back, let's hide the distribution one more time. And let's go back to switch zero. Let's go to the actions drop down menu and select config. And let's go over to the VLAN tag. And now you can see via the command line, we've added ETH5 to switch zero. If you are planning to use the SFP port on your Edge Router X SFP, you're going to need a couple of SFP modules, one for the router and one for the device that you're connecting to. These particular units work really well. They're under $15 on Amazon. I purchased them over a year ago and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. 
in addition to the SFP modules, you're also going to need a fiber optic cable. Now, I'll put the links to these items down in the video description below, as well as the commands for the CLI. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. Now you know how to add the SFP port on your Edge Router X SFP to Switch Zero. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the link to some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.